Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a quick video walkthrough. Today I'm going to teach you how to become a pro with the slice tool inside Cricut's Design Space software. So if you haven't yet, make sure to click that notification bell, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any tips and tricks to become a pro. So let's get started. I'm going to walk you through how to use a slice tool. The idea behind the slice tool is it makes it easier instead of having to layer um, multiple layers, say you're working with cardstock or vinyl, it can get too thick if you're working with multiple layers. So this is an easy way that you can go ahead and make something without having tons of layers. So let's walk you through. So first one, we'll start with a shape. So say you're cutting out a project and you want a star and instead of doing multiple layers, we want to cut this one out. So let's go with a text. So I went ahead and picked my son's name here. And if we were going ahead and making this, this would sort this into two separate mats. It would be multiple layers and that can be kind of a pain. Sometimes we just want the item inside um, the project without having to cut multiple layers. So what you're gonna do is you place the item that you want exactly where you want it. You're gonna click and make a box and drag it around and that will select both items. And then you go, can go down to the toolbar here and click slice. So when you click slice, what it does is it takes the template and it cuts it directly out. So we have two there. So what you would do is just go ahead and remove that and remove that. And now when you go ahead and make it, it's just one item that's already cut out, has the word that you want inside that's essentially the basic idea behind Slice. So this is the most simple way that you can use it inside the system. There are other ways that you can use it that you can customize and personalize. And I'm gonna show you another way that you can do it. So say you have an image that you want to use besides just a regular shape. So I'm gonna pull up a uh, football helmet. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and insert that in here. And I like to pull um, the corners of the image and make it a little bit larger while I'm working on it. That way you can get you know, everything perfectly the way you want and then you can adjust it after. So let's make this a nice bright color. And we'll add a text. So say we wanna add his name again. And we're just gonna go ahead and change up the font. So this one is a good one for sports here. Okay, and let's make this a brighter color because we want this to be visible. So what you'll want to do is you could just write this across, but it would look a little bit awkward. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to take this little corner here and I'm going to drag it and turn it on an angle. And then we're going to adjust the sizing by using the corners. So we adjust the sizing. So you could layer that on top of that, but you don't always want to do that. If so what we're going to do is the same thing we did before, is just draw a box around it, hit the slice tool, remove our template, cut that out, and remove the cutout. And there you go. And now you have a piece ready to go. It has the name already written in there. So there's another one. So let's show you something a little bit more advanced. Um, I'm going to show you with an apple real quick. So we'll go into an apple. Say we're designing something for a teacher and we wanted to make something customized. So we'll pull up a really cute apple shape here. Oops, here's, we just want that one. Go ahead and insert images. Okay, so here's the apple. We can duplicate it and I'll show you two different ways to do this. So you can use the standard way that we just did with we'll say text and we'll write a name and let's pick a font that's a little prettier and there's one that's actually called apple something apple chancery which i think is really pretty so we can adjust the size Oops. so you could do the same thing that you were doing before which is you just take this draw the box around it slice it and that's just one basic way that you can do that. But say you wanted something a little bit more, um, 
was a little bit more detail or that looked a little bit more special, you could do something very similar where you take that, but instead what we'll do is go into shapes. We're gonna take a square. And what you'll do with the square is go over here to the unlock button. And we're gonna unlock it. And then we're gonna decide approximately how large we want to make um, the words that we're putting in here. So I think about that size looks really good. And what we're gonna do is don't worry, by the way, if it overlaps, that's fine. We're just worried about slicing out this section here for words. So draw a box around it, hit slice, and remove those pieces and just delete them because you don't need them. So now we have an apple here and it has this wonderful spacing inside here so that you can customize it. So we'll go ahead and make some text again. And what we'll do is size this to the size that we want inside there. And as you can see, it has a, a different font color. You could go in and change that, but you don't need to do it if you're doing this next step. So say we're gonna go ahead and um, we wanna make this, we have to make sure that if we don't wanna have, if we don't want to um, center all of these pieces and have this be a different color, if you're not worried about this font being a different color, what you can do is go ahead and select it and hit the weld button. And that right there makes it all one piece. You can resize it as you want and it ensures that this is all the same color. You can also go back if you want and keep it like that and you can change out the color if you wanted a different color do it that way or you can just hit weld and that gives you that makes it so that when you go ahead and print this out to cut that what happens is everything is a solid piece and you don't have to worry about making sure that everything is lined up perfectly because it's already going to cut it perfectly for you so that's just the difference between the two items here. So you can make it look a little bit more special just by, you know, cutting out, slicing out um, little sections and adding in pieces there. So as you can see, it shows up a little bit better on the example on the left versus the example on the right. And I'm going to show you also another way that you can do this as well. Um, and let's go ahead and use a monogram. So a monogram is one of the most common ways that I see people use the slicing tool. And this is really popular for if you're creating GIFs. Um, it's a great way to customize things. And let's go ahead and search through the library here. If you didn't know, Cricut's Design Space Library currently has over 100,000 different images. So there are so many different options. Um, I highly recommend Cricut Access subscriptions. If you don't have one, um, they're really handy because I use mine constantly. So here we go. I love these monograms here. I think they're so beautiful. So go ahead and select this one. So say you wanted to make a customized gift. I think this is a really lovely way to do it. And you wanted to add their names inside of here. What you would do is the same way that we kind of used for this apple here. Let's go ahead and remove these out of the way. So they're not in the way. We're going to use the same type of setup that we used for this apple here. So we're going to take a shape, go into a square, and what we're going to do is hit the unlock button again. And we're going to figure out exactly how large we want this and where we want to put it. So go like that, draw a little box around it and hit the slice button. And then you will remove these pieces. And as you can see, you could write a name inside here. It might look a little unfinished though. So what I usually recommend is going into shapes again, clicking another square. And what you're going to do is unlock it again. And we're going to replicate essentially the same size um, as these pieces here. So that way it looks more cohesive. You know, if we make it about the same width. So what we can do is do that and you can lock it then and change the color if you want to. So visually you can tell if it's the right thing. And we're gonna go here and hit duplicate. And then we're gonna add it here as well. Okay, so now that we have the two pieces here, 
what we can do is take one here and we're just going to draw a box around it. We're going to click weld and that will make sure that that piece stays there. And then do the same here, repeat it, draw a box around it and click weld as well and it makes sure that all the pieces stay together and then you can go ahead and add some text. So I'm going to go ahead and add the word March. Um, you can do it as if you know you have um, a special name or maybe you're making a, a personalized calendar, anything along those lines and you can add it in the center. Um, some fonts look you know better in it. Honestly I think I'd probably do this one in capital letters. Um, and then what you'll do is draw another box around it and you're going to click weld and then it becomes part of the design. And so what happens is if you go to make it, each one shows up as their own individual design and it makes it a lot easier because you don't have to worry about aligning everything. Everything will be cut out exactly as you need it. And that's just a quick way that you can um, you know, get around um, if you're having any awkward spots inside of your design. You can always draw little um, bars to make it a little bit easier to line everything. Also, if you're having any problems with um, with the slice tool not working, just remember to do it in single layers um, and that just makes it easier and that way you can cut out the pieces as you need them and you don't have to worry about it. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit the uh, like button and subscribe and I hope you guys have a great week. Make sure to leave a comment Let me know down below any other tutorials you'd like to see and I'll see you guys later. Bye